I'm Professor Carl Chin, MBE, PhD, and I'm a social historian with an expertise in the West Midlands and on the real gangs of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. And I'm going to be dispelling some of the myths around the stories of the real Peaky Blinders and bringing you the reality. So, keep watching Gangster Tales. Was there one Peaky Blinder gang called the Peaky Blinders in Small Heath in 1920s Birmingham, based around one family, the Shelbys? Myth. The real Peaky Blinders were around in the 1890s and the immediate turn of the 20th century. It was the generic term for the backstreet thugs of Birmingham. There were numerous backstreet gangs to which numerous Peaky Blinders belonged and they disappeared before the First World War and they were all over old Birmingham, not just in one district. Was there a real Shelby family? Fiction. But the writer of the series, the acclaimed Stephen Knight, says the idea came to him from tales that his dad told him about his maternal uncles, the Sheldons, and there was a Sheldon family. Three of the men, John, Joseph and Samuel, were amongst the most notorious, violent and vicious criminals in late 19th century and early 20th century Birmingham, and were responsible for the worst gang war in the city's history between 1908 and 1912 the garrison name Vendetta. So, did the real Peaky Blinders sew disposable safety razor blades into the peaks of their flat caps to use them as weapons, slashing across the forehead of their enemies, hence pouring blood into their eyes and blind them? Myth. Disposable safety razor blades were not sold in great quantities in England until about 1910, by which time the Peaky Blinders had disappeared. What then were their weapons? They used their hobnail boots, they used knives, they wielded especially buckled belts, they threw stones and brick ends, but not disposable razor blades stitched into the peak of their caps. Was there a real Alfie Solomons? Well, yes there was. His real name though was Alfie Solomon. Now, we know he was portrayed superbly by Tom Hardy in the series as a man from a a Yiddish-speaking background, wearing clothes as if he was a, an Orthodox Jewish man. In reality, unlike Tom Hardy's portrayal, the real Alfie Solomon was from North London. He was from an Anglo-Jewish background, and he did not wear the clothes of an Orthodox Jewish man. He was a secular Jew. However, the real Alfie Solomon was one of the most vicious and dangerous gangsters in the 1920s. He killed a man, got away with manslaughter, and he slashed and maimed other men. Was there a real Darby Sabini? True, but he wasn't like the character in the series. He wasn't dressed elegantly, like a mafia-style Don, speaking with an Italian accent. His real name was Ottavio. Darby was his nickname. He was born and bred in Clerkenwell in North London. His mum was English. Yes, his dad was Italian, but from Northern Italy, not Sicily, and he'd come over to England as a child. Darby Sabini, always saw himself as an Englishman, and his only son was killed on active service for the United Kingdom in the Second World War. Were the real Peaky Blinders Romanies? Myth. There may have been some Peaky Blinders that had Romany heritage, but the Romanies were very few in number in Victorian Birmingham. And whilst the poor were the marginalised of society, the Romanies were the most marginalised of the most marginalised. If you want to find out more about the real Peaky Blinders and the real gangsters of the 1920s into the 1930s, well, you can look at my books beginning with Peaky Blinders, The Real Story.